Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's give God a praise here in this house, hallelujah. It is a great day to worship the Lord, hallelujah. It is Christmas Eve, hallelujah. It is the day that we choose to celebrate the birth of our Savior. Come on, Cutting Edge Global, let's show honor to our God, to our King, hallelujah. He is so great. And he's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. While you are standing, we are about to begin in our worship service. Hallelujah. We have been in an honor sermon series and we're still going forth. It'll carry us into the new year. And on today, being Christmas Eve, we decided to honor his story. We have been honoring a lot. We've been learning a lot through honor. We've been learning to honor through our long suffering. We've been learning to repent, hallelujah, of ourselves to ourselves to show honor. And so today will be a great day, the day before Christmas, that we will be with our families and loved ones and taking the time to reflect on his birth to honor his story. His story comes from the Gospels written in the New Testament. There are many accounts, but the four accounts that we hear in the Gospels shares of their experiences that they heard of the story, the calling of Christ. He has been prophesied before many nations and many generations. As you carry through the genealogy of Jesus Christ, this story was foretold before it began because God made sure that we had a Savior that we could see that we could love and in this we honor him Jesus Christ our Lord Emmanuel God is with us bow your heads let us pray and grace his presence and grace him in honor and grace him in this moment Father God our heavenly ultimate and only Father Lord and Savior ruler and king our rock and my god you've been a fortress 
we honor you with our hands and our mouths our presence Lord Jesus we honored you to even set aside this Sabbath to come together in unity to give you praise and adoration we honor this story that we will not lose but it is told from generation to generation to generation that these words would not be lost, that this effect of your birth that brought, Lord God, hallelujah, forgiveness to all mankind, let it be foretold and told again and again to set forth the example that even as we honor your story, we honor those who took part and partake in your story. To Mary and to Joseph, to the wise men, to the, to the, to the kings and to the, to the censor counters, oh God. It was your plan. And to this day in 2023, it is still your story. And we honor it. We appreciate it. And God, if nothing else, we need it. We need it just to tell somebody else about the goodness of Jesus Christ. We will tell it from the mountaintop. We will tell it down to the valley below that you are Lord and Savior who shall reign and will reign. For this we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we say, amen. I present to you from the creative department of Cutting Edge Global, honor his story. Enjoy. Honor his genealogy. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 1, verses 1 through 17. This is the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, son of David, son of Abraham. Thus are all the generations were 14, from Abraham to David, and from David unto the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ, are 14 generations. As we gather to observe the pinnacle moments of our Savior's birth and those who commemorated his legacy, we celebrate the promise of the Old Testament prophecies being fulfilled. As the scripture declares, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. On today, we honor his genealogy, his call, his birth, his gift, and his divine message. Somebody.
hands together. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, put your hands together. Uh, oh, come on. Put your hands together. Uh, oh, Santa Claus ain't got no nothing to say. Honor the call. St. Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to, through 25. Now the birth of Jesus was on the wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to t make her a public example, was mindful to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins." Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall come, and shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God with us. Then Joseph, raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. your baby boy would one day walk on water. Mary, did you know the 
Let your baby boy would save our sons and daughters. Did you know that your baby boy has come to make us new? This sleeping child you're holding will soon.
gotta go tell it. You gotta go tell it. Okay, so everybody should know this next song, so I need y'all to stand up with us. Okay? Amen. Honor the birth, the gospel according to Luke, St. Luke chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. And Joseph also went up to Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her first son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Oh, 
shield. He's my fortress. You don't have to be afraid today. Come on. Let the King of Lord. Let the King of Glory. Hey. Let the see. Let the Hallelujah, hallelujah. You give the glory, God. You give the glory, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You give the glory. We invite you in, Majestic One, Holy One of Israel. Come on in, take your seat, and we crown you as Lord. We crown you as King. We crown you as the Majestic One. You give the glory, glory. We give you honor. That's what we came to do. Lift up your voices, Zion. Like a trump, give it to him. Give him glory for 
of this moment in time. Hallelujah. For in his presence, his fullness of joy. And at your presence, be pleasure forevermore. 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 You get the glory. You get the glory. Glory. Honor. Power. Glory. Glory. Hey. Hey, na, 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 na. Come on, we sing hallelujah. We can take 30 seconds of pure worship. We can take a minute just to honor the name of the Lord. Come on, I know some few people in the house who came to give God some glory. So for just one more minute, I won't try to give him what he deserves. Come on in, come on in. Take your seat, Lord. Take your seat, Lord. The Papa Bless at the Bahai. We will give you what is due to you. We'll give you honor. We'll give you glory. And we'll talk your name. We'll talk your name. Can we just sing it all together? Let the king, let the king come glory. 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 Let the Let's just take a minute. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on in. Let the king. Who is his king of glory? He is the Lord strong and mighty. Mighty in battle. To lift up your head. Oh, the gate. And be innocent of the everlasting force. Hey. And the king of glory shall come in. 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 The king of glory shall come 30 more seconds, 30 more. Listen, listen, listen. The king of glory shall come in. 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 Can we just worship? We're going to do this away, cut it ass, does it? Hey! And the king of glory will come in. The king of glory will come in. The king of glory will come in. The king of glory, the king of glory. Now, if you're crazy enough, lift up your ways of the I will dance like David dance. I will sing like David sang. I will praise like David praise. I will worship like David worship. I will dance like David dance. And the King of Glory come up. The King of Glory shall. The King of Glory. King of Glory shall. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord throne. Lord mighty, the King of glory, and the King of glory.
Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. And all that we say and do, we give you glory and we honor the name of Jesus. It's because of his entrance into the earth realm and his death, burial, and resurrection. And he ascended on high and he's yet living. We do what we do and give him glory and make his name great throughout the land. Hallelujah. You may be seated, if you can, in the presence of our God. In the presence of our God is fullness of joy. And at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Yes, so taste and see that the Lord is good. He has been uncommonly kind to us. Gracious are you, mighty King of Israel. Gracious are you, mighty King of Israel. Gracious are you, mighty God. Mighty, majestic one. Sovereign King. The El Shaddai. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever, and ever and ever, and ever and ever. You reign on high. You reign on high. Hey, He reigns. You reign, God. You reign. No rain on us. No rain on us. I receive the rain. The weight of His glory is in the and we yield to it. We surrender to it. At this moment and in the more time, we surrender to the will of the Lord. Hey, ba 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 ba. Glory, 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 glory. Oh, for a few moments, give it to Him. For a few moments, give it to Him. Give it to him. Hey, let your expressions be made known. How good has he been to you? Then express, somebody respond. Respond to him. Respond to him. We respond to your presence. Messiah. Ha, ah, Mashiach. Hey, Mashiach. Ha, ah, Mashiach. Emmanuel. God is with us. God abides with us. God resides with us. Come now, Holy Spirit. Take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. You're welcome, 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 welcome. You're welcome, 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 welcome. You're welcome, 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 welcome. In this place, holy, holy. Is this place in Zion? Righteous. Righteous, hey, is this place, is this place, is this place in Zion? you by your name, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the chief cornerstone.
to our God and to our King. We express our love affections and blow kisses in his presence. Ah, oh, he's a great God. Yes, he is. I'm trying to go on, Zion. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and we glorify his name, and we worship him in spirit and truth. We worship him in spirit and in truth. We have some grateful folks in the building. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's been good to us. Hallelujah. Through ups and downs. He's still good. Through highs and lows, he's still good. Through grief and through birth, he's still good. Through loss and gain, he's been great. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. And as we continue on celebrating and honoring our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we honor the gift. St. Matthew chapter 2, verses 10 through 12, a poetry reading by Prophetess Wendy Haven. Receive her as she comes. of light. The star gave way to astounding joy and rejoicing at the extraordinary message its light came to proclaim. With hearts overjoyed, the wise men gazed at the guiding light leading them to destiny's reward. Soon their eyes beheld the sight of the child with his mother Mary who birthed the promise for precious, tender, and mild. The weight of the moment pressed upon them. With humble hearts, they bowed down and worshiped him, for the long-awaited promise was finally here. Befitting for a king, they unveiled treasures of gifts they brought to bestow. Gold, a symbol of wealth and majesty to honor noble royalty. Frankincense, an aroma so sweet, to the divine, a sacred offering. Myrrh, a precious gift so rare, for the anointing of the cross his life would bear. The night gave way to the weight of a dream. To return to Herod would be doomed to the innocent child, their glorious king. So wisdom was their guide, which led them on their way. Back to their country, a different route they would take. A testament to the glory, which the heavens declared. Their visit to the child, the promised Messiah, lingered in their hearts. They honored the gift because their everlasting life was soon to start. Honor the message, the gospel, according to Luke. St. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord showed round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day 
in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And it shall be unto you a sign. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see the things which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying, which was told them conceiving the child. And all they had heard it wondered at these things, which was told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all things that they had heard and seen, and it was told unto them. Hallelujah. I heard this while we were worshiping. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord, oh, come. Oh, come, let us adore. Come and let us adore him. Come on, for he alone is worthy. Why don't you sing it? For he alone. Come on, for he alone. Because I'm the pastor today. Latoria, will you sing this for me? Will you come up here and sing this? Come on. Can we stand on our feet? I just sense a place of worship.
worship him right there. Come on, lift your hands and just worship him. Everybody in this house who let us say, Hosanna to us, said to the Lord, come on, give him worship. We worship you. We worship you. We extol you. We extend you. We exalt 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 you. You all sing it, oh come. Oh come, let us We've been in a season of honoring God. And I want you to know that in honoring God, there is, there are benefits in honoring the Lord. And I know last week we were in a place where we couldn't get past the wind of God, the prophetic wind of God. But I, I, I didn't want us to leave this year without knowing the benefits of what you have submitted to. How many of you have submitted your life to Christ? My Lord. So because you have submitted your life to Christ, there are going to be benefits. I can't wait until next week to talk to you about the things that I foresee in 2024. But even here in 2023, there is a seal that God wants to put on you. And y'all know I don't celebrate pagan holidays. But I said if they're going to do what they're going to do, we're going to do what we're going to do. And we're going to honor the Lord. Huh? We're going to serve him with gladness. We're going to come humbly before the Lord. But I felt in, in such a, I, I felt such a weight of God's glory, even when I came in this morning, that the Lord wanted to pour. He wanted to give. There's a gift that he, that he wants to give today. So I want you to hold out your hands this way. Father, as you come to stretch out heaven, to open up the portals of heaven, to pour on your people a blessing that they don't even have room enough to receive. I pray now before Pastor Eric comes, capacity. Somebody say capacity. I pray now, Father, that we would have capacity for who you are, for what you are, and what you intend to do through us. One more time, say capacity. And I want y'all on a count of three, say stretch. One, two, three. Just because we want more of God. Anybody else want more of God? Come on, on the count of three, say stretch. One, two, three. Come on, he's expanding you. He's expanding your reach. He's increasing you now. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Power, authority, glory. Oh, Baba, Satella, the Messiah. On the count of three, say stretch. One, two, three. Now, if you believe God is giving you capacity, come on, clap your hands. Come on, you can clap your hands harder than that. Come on, you can worship harder than that. Y'all know I'm not going to take the place of God. So go ahead and worship for 30 seconds on your own. If you can feel him in the room, go ahead and wave your hand. Come on. He's 
in the room, he's in the room. Shit, the bomb, the baby, baby, shit, the bomb, the man, you see that. We honor your presence, Jesus. We honor your presence, Jesus. And because we have come into the house of the Lord with honor, God has a gift. Come on. We've been saying this, and I know I'm not even old enough to understand this song, but they were singing, you can't beat God's giving. No matter how. Look at your neighbor and say, you can't beat God's giving. No matter how hard you try. Y'all not looking at nobody. I said, find somebody and tell them, you cannot beat. Which camera I staring at? You cannot beat God's giving. No matter how hard you try, no matter how much you give, I feel the Holy Ghost in this room. I need you to point your finger like a prophet and say, no matter what you do, God's going to give more. Hey, shine the up, up, up and say, hey, no matter how much you give, he's going to give more. Yeah. I feel it. No matter what you do, baby girl, you're not going to be God. If you understood what I just prophesied in the room, your hands will be lifted and you will take a moment not to listen to me, but receive from the Lord. Say, my 2024 going to look a little different. Because I understand whatever I put in, he's going to double, he's going to quadruple. It's coming back to me in 2024. I'm not just trying to give you a good word. I'm telling you what the word of God says. That when you give to the kingdom, your gift is going to return to you by benefit. Say, I received the benefit of the Lord. Come on, say, I receive the benefits of the Lord. Favor, healing, deliverance, salvation, freedom of the Lord. Say, it's the benefits, it's the benefits, it's the benefits. Turn my mic up. It's the benefits, the benefits of the Lord, the benefits of the Lord. Favor, 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 favor. I just got to push this in the room real quick. Favor of the Lord, it's in the benefit package. If you are part of the kingdom, you are owed something. Say, and I hear the Lord say, ask, seek, and knock, and the door shall be. One more time, one more time, one more time, it's in the house. Listen, ask, seek, knock. And the door shall be open. Ask. Seek. What you gonna say? And the door shall be open. You say, ask. And the door shall be open. One more time, say. Seek. Knock. Now one more time. Find somebody. You say, say, ask. Seek. Knock. And the door shall be open. You say, Do it in the prophetic. Yeah. And seek. Knock. Now take that door. Come on. And seek. Knock. And I feel this in the prophetic. And the door shall be open. Shut up. And the door shall be open. Cutting edge global, I decree and declare that when you ask and you seek and you knock, take your foot and step over the threshold. Take your foot and step over to the new year. Take your foot and step into some favor. Favor, 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 favor. And I shall bless everywhere your foot shall trod. Hey, I shall bless everything your hand touch. Your mind is going to be changed in the new year. The way you praise is going to look different in the new year. Listen, ask, seek, knock. I'm not trying to get in trouble. And the door shall, you say it. One more time, do it. 
you to find a wall, a chair, whatever you're going to do. And for 30 seconds, I just want you to sing over that thing. It's open. It's open. Come on, find your area. Find your area. Real quick. Touch the wall if you must. Touch somebody who's touching the wall. Touch a chair if you must. Touch another member if you must. Because it's open. Y'all ready to pray and prophesy? I see capacity. Now it's bad. It's open for you. It's open for you. Pray, pray. Pray, pray. It's open for you. Pray, pray. Prophesy. There's nothing that you can't have in this new year. It's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. I hear him say, access granted. Now, praise. Praise the Lord. Come on, it's open, it's open, it's open, it's open. It's open, it's open. Come on, decree, declare, decree, declare, decree, declare, decree, declare. Speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it. Glory, glory. Real quick, while we're in this glory. I just heard God it. I heard him say it just hit somebody's spirit. Somebody just received an open door. Somebody 
somebody just received it for real. It was more than a song. I don't know what this well is. Do me a favor why it's hot, why it's hot. Real quick, listen, I am one of those people, I don't want my food to get cold. I like it coming off hot and I can see the steam on the plate. For some reason, the more you chew, it just gets better. So it's hot in this room, not just physically, but God wants you to give into this moment. And so we're gonna take an offering. Are y'all ready to give? Oh yeah, 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 y'all stay right there. It's open for you. Come on, dig deep, dig deep. I have a message for those who have been working and serving in the kingdom of God. And he told me to tell you today, it's for the asking. It's open for you, 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 you. It's open for you. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Come on, do you have your offering? Do you have your offering? Mm. I don't know about you, but my vocal cords didn't warmed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, wave that offering in the air if you have it. You know what, let's stand one more time if you have your offering and you're ready to give. I hear the Lord saying, don't just give your tithes today. Put your offering in there also. I know it might sound a little crazy. You say, Pastor, we do that already. But for those of you who've never done this before, this is what I'm saying to you. Give an offering. Give your suffering. Yeah, it's heavy in here. It's heavy. And we're going to do this really quick. The ways to give are on the screen. I don't know why these old songs in my I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. This is it. With the heart of faith. I will bless thee, O Lord. Come on. I will bless thee. your heart and say, with the heart of faith, I will bless thee, O Lord. One more time, just for me. I will bless thee, O Lord. Father God, we thank you for this offering. We thank you for every hand lifted. We, ooh, we thank you for every bowed down heart. We are not just here, Lord God, to witness miracle signs and wonders for others. But you said for those who love your body, you will love them back and you would honor them. And so the people who are serving God, we pray, Lord God, as they give today, that you are well pleased with this offering and this sacrifice. As we put it into this ground, good ground, may it grow in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray in the saints say amen. Amen. You may have your seat. One more time. I will bless thee, O Lord. One more time for yourself. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of God, touch our musicians. I will bless thee, O Lord. <laughs> One more time. It got real to somebody. I will bless. I will. I feel like a choir director, come on. I will bless the oh Lord. Yeah. Come on, say, with a heart of thanksgiving. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. I will bless the oh Lord.
are benefits to being in the body of Christ. There is a different... <laughs> One thing this church is going to be is ghetto. Please put your red bottom on. Now, I don't have red bottoms, but I do have red shoes. And I, I am walking into my next... I am walking into my next... Right, 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 right. I heard the word say, you have not because you... Yeah, yeah. So when the apostle hits me with her red bottom, I am next. Hallelujah. One more time. I will bless the Lord. Now be quiet. I know we've talked about suffering and process last week. And, and we really didn't even get to talk about it. Because y'all decided to act a fool. Now y'all not going to do this today. It's Christmas and we got stuff to do. And we got company. Stop embarrassing us. Oh, they say it's Christmas Eve. They don't, they don't care about that. But because I didn't get to preach last week, because Bishop decided she was going to have a good Sunday. And, and I'm not going to tell you what it was unless you go watch the replay, get our streams up. But we had a good time in the Lord because we understood in order to go through it, we have to choose to go through it. And we also understood by Bible study that it wasn't just in our gift, but it was also in our process. Because God don't want a gift that he already gave to you. We, 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 it's Christmas time, so let's make that plain. I don't want you to gift me back something I gifted you. All you did was change the covering and put a bow on it and handed it back to me. And God said, I have not, I'm not rebuking anybody. They said I have a grace for this. Right. Just keep the car running. <laughs> I don't know whose pastor's watching, praise the Lord. But he told me, they watching, hey, but see that I'm on your say. He told me, he said, Ari, all the churches have been doing Sunday to Sunday is giving me something I already gave. And that's why I'm not showing up. I gave you the gift so that you can use it to do what? Build the body of Christ. And so on Wednesday, yes, build your church. Thank you, Maverick. On Wednesday, we talked about a little bit. Thank you for accompanying me. Um, Wednesday, we talked about building the body of church. And we read the scripture. Can I read this to you one more time? And I'm not going to be long. She has my timer up. Y'all did that other stuff. Y'all made me do that. So I still got 20 minutes. Okay. And she's going to give me the timer. But on Wednesday, we read this scripture. Uh, we are in... My stuff don't want to work. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Let's read this one really quick. And because I didn't get to have a reader last week, Eric is going to read today. I don't, this is, <laughs> this is my uh, Bishop Gladius Lawrence. He always had a reader, and I just felt like that was so cool. And so every time I preach, I want a reader. I can read, but I want somebody else to do it. Ephesians 4. Let's read this really quick. Um, let's read it in the NIV version for the saints who don't like King James. While studying for this message, God brought up to my attention that he has a benefit package for those who serve in the kingdom. And this is not something that I made up. This was word. He, in order to receive this package, come on, am I the only person who went to a good job and the money was great? Great. But can somebody lift your hands and say, thank God for the benefits? Oh, okay, because money get a little crazy, right, right, the benefits kick in. And as much as I would like to just pay for my dentist appointment, why would I do that when I have what? Benefits. I have a, come on, church. And for some of y'all, I started looking up some of these benefits. And it was crazy. To me. I didn't even heard of some of these benefits, but good for you. But there are so many different benefits in the body of Christ. And he said, you are failing not because you don't have a gift. That was something I gave. You're failing because you have not used your benefits. Why would I serve day to day and I get nothing back from it? I said, God, but that makes me sound a little selfish. 
He said, I am a God that gives. And not only did I give you a gift, but when you give it back to me in the body of Christ and you take care of my body, I have to give you benefits. So let's read this really quick. Is my reader ready? Hallelujah. We are going to start Ephesians 4 and 11. Read that for me. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers. Read that one more time. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers. Christ himself, he did what first? He gave. He gave. God honors those who what? Give. Because he is a giver. Yeah. We also said God honors those who go through. We saw that Jesus himself had to do what? go through so he honors you when you go through right so read this next part 12 to equip his people for works of service so that the body of christ may be built up one more time because i we read this and i was we was just in a spirit we was just doing real good and so i kind of read past it real fast on wednesday but read this one more time this is important to equip stop he equipped so he gave you something he gave you a gift he equipped you with something right read to equip his people for works of service. Stop. I'm not making this word up. This is this is what it's in it's in the Bible. For works of service. So that means that you have to be what? Doing something. We keep asking God for stuff and we keep, Lord God, give me, give me, give me. He said, but what have you done for the body? The gift that you keep praying for to, for me to develop and for me to, to give you better ground and uh, better numbers, I'm not going to bless that gift until you give it back to the body. I'm, I promise you I'm not making this up. It's in the word. Works of service. Read it one more time. To equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. So that the body of Christ may be built up. Not me. Can I talk about me? Can I just, I'm an artist and so a lot of times we kind of look at ourselves and we have to build this body and we have to do certain processes. And he said, Ari, that's why secular people can do what they do and it still works. Because it's a gift that I gave to them. But they are not building the body. So it won't last. What you're doing when you teach and when you preach is not for you. What you do when you sing and you minister is not for you. It's to build the body. Next slide. So the gift is for the body. And we learned on last week the suffering is for us. The gift is for the body, but the suffering is for you. Why? Because suffering builds something in you. It's your character your heart that's why as good as David was at his instrument the Bible said he was skillful that means he was bad so bad that King Saul called him and when he was able to play demons ran out of the room but God did not care about the gift he gave it to him God named him a man after his own heart where do you build heart in the process You thought you were building your gift. You're building the character, the heart of the thing. Can I keep reading this? Because I want you to understand. I'm saying this so that you can understand the benefits. So if the gift is for the body, then what is for me? The benefits. There are benefits for those who honor God by honoring his body. I'm gonna say it one time. There are benefits to those who honor God's body. Whenever you hear in scripture, they always preach about the body. That there are legs, there are arms, there are eyes, there are, there are ears. Why? Because it's important to God. That's why Jesus had to suffer in his body physically. I'm going to teach this on Wednesday. I really want to get to it, but I'm not going to do that to you. What does benefits mean? As a teacher, I always do this, and I'm always going to do this. 
always give definitions. And you might say the word, but some of us ain't never opened up Webster to read what it actually means. Read this definition. Benefits. An advantage or profit gained from something. One more time. An advantage or profit gained from something. Now y'all read it. Benefits is? An advantage You have an advantage that others do not have. It's different from your job benefits because some of us have the same benefits. But I got different benefits than a couple of other people in the world. Favor looks different for me. So that's why, can I just tell my testimony? Praise all, how I'm supposed to see. Yesterday I went into, I, I went into, um, I went into somewhere. Can you think place? I went into man's warehouse and I was getting ready. Uh, Y'all know we're getting married. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus to my beautiful fiance. I can finally do that. Stand up and let them see your green suit. And your red lipstick, yes. You look good. We not matching, but you look good. Yes, I will see. Right, back. And so I went to Man's Warehouse. I can finally do that, I never did it before, it felt great. We went to Man's Warehouse, and stuff like this happens all the time for me because I serve in the body. And there's no complaining about it. I, I, you, y'all know we're gonna wash the toilets. We'll, we'll mop the floors. We, we don't care. We, we trim our own hedges. Don't it look good? Oh, okay. Bishop be there with her eyelashes and lipstick on, uh, cleaning grass. And so, my benefit package looks a little different. And so, what I thought I was gonna go in the store and pay for, God showed me favor. And come on, for the guys who like suits, y'all know how much that stuff costs. And then don't want to get a, like a little nice trim one on the side with a little bow tie and stuff. And so I went in there expecting like $400. That's what my mom was like, we're we, we going to pay. That's about right, right, for a good slim one. And I got up to the calendar. And I watched, and, and my fiance right there, she was, sitting, she was right there. And real quick, I'm going to tell my testimony. I get up to the counter, and the lady was like, well, this jacket looks really good on you. And let me tell you something. There was some other people in the store, and they walked, you look great, thank you. So I knew that this was the jacket I was supposed to get, the pants, like all of the shoes. I know what I'm about to pay. And so the lady walks up with the jacket, she uh, puts it on, and she says, wait a second. She, uh, no, 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 I said, oh, she said, look at the sleeve. So I look at the sleeve, the jacket was $365. And I said, oh, okay, you can put that back, because <laughs> we still need pants and shoes, right? And so she said, wait a second, no, you didn't really look at the tag. She said, look again. Y'all, I was third in the store. I was about to tear man's warehouse up. She said, no, look at the tag again. The suit was $79. $359 for, and it fit. It fit with my benefits. Don't make me do it. Um, it fits with the benefits. So, 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 I wasn't trying to do that. It just happened. I'm going to keep it real light today, okay? I promise, I promise. We didn't fill out enough. And so, where I thought my benefits stopped, they kept going. I didn't read the full package. When, when I got in the kingdom, I was just excited to be saved, filled with the Holy Ghost and precious fire. And so I didn't really read the fine print. I didn't read it like I was supposed to, but can I tell you what you think God is going to do? He's going to exceed. So I get to the counter, and so I said, thank God for my 79. And, 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 and I get to the counter, and she says, sir, this is so great. Wow. Praise the Lord. And, and she, she, she's just like, wow, that, that never happens. This is so great. And I wanted to tell her, you don't know who you're talking to. And so me and Deja, we scrounged up about $79, because we like, we're going to pay for this suit today. $79. Merry Christmas. The lady scans the tag. babe. Because they don't know. They, they don't know. That lady scanned that sleeve. That outfit came up to 39. Yeah. 
Baby, that West Side came all the way out. We're trying to be pastors, reel it in. Mighty Lamb. There is a spot for everybody in the kingdom. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Where you thought it was going to stop, because of our small minds of who God is, I decree and declare in 2024 that you're about to get a price drop in the mighty name of Jesus. What you thought was going to be expensive, I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus, the favor of God. Because it's in my benefit package to have it because I serve in the house of the Lord. You need to put your benefit package to work. I wasn't ready yet, but go ahead. That was nice. Thank you, Jesus, for the benefit package. Some of us forgot that we even had it, but I decree to pick that thing back up and take it back to the store. Pick that thing back up and take it back to your job. Pick that thing back up and take it back to your house. You are about to see an elevation like never before if you are serving and going through in the kingdom. I hate to say this, but if you, if you just came to church to just come to church, you don't get the benefits. Now, there are benefits because God loves you. He's, he's just, he's that type of God. Right, you got to say, and we are not knocking that. Salvation is great. It's necessary. It's keeping me home. But your salvation is not enough. There is a work. Come on. Some, that's why you got a mic. I want the premium. Yeah. I want the benefits, the full package. And in order to get that in the kingdom, we just read that you have to do the works for the body. Am I making this make sense? I know next time I'll prophesy and we'll flip the chairs over one more time. But I got to get this word inside of your heart. Because most people only come to church for the prophecy and for, and we are a house that can do it. But we are also a house that gives word, wisdom, instruction, knowledge. Because once you walk out, your tongues are going to be great, but you can't take that to the bank. If you don't understand the laws of the land, and because we didn't know the law of the kingdom, we didn't even know we had these type of benefits. The gift is for the body, but the benefits are for you. We were talking, me and Apostle, and again, I have to keep saying this because most pastors put pastors up and they just give them a title of a message and they say, now preach it. No, no, no. We, huh? She talks. Very fast, too. Can you say that one more time, Apostle? <laughs> My little small brain is not caught up to the Apostle Paul knowledge you have in, in your brain. I'm still at Peter level. Yeah. Praise God. And so we were talking, and you said this. You said, yeah, Eric, the bills, the money is for the bills, but the benefits are for you. So you take your money that you get from your job and you pay your bills, right? But that benefit package is for you. And this is different because God gives love just because he loves, but this benefit package is because you worked. Because there was an exchange. What is that called? It's called a covenant. If you don't have a covenant with God, you do not have a God of covenant. And he is not obligated to do it. Now, I ain't got that. Bill. Right. I always mess it up. He is obligated. Right. With you. With you. To you, through you, through you or, or for you. you if you don't have a covenant with God, you don't get the benefit package. You just have a really good God. But I want the God that Moses had. 
that when he got to his problem, when he got, when he stood up against the Red Sea, my God, God told him, now put your staff in the water and the water begins to recede. I want the God of Joshua, Debeshe, beyond those say. That when they were in war with the enemy, he said, God, we keep losing because it's too dark. And the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I bet say, stood up for him. And he took the song. He said, now be still. I want the God of Mary, say, that when she was pregnant with promise, and they wanted to stone her, the angel of the Lord came in. I want the God of Abraham. That when he told him to get up and go, blessings followed. I want, I want, I want, I want the God of Isaac, the son of promise. Hey, say, I want, I want, I want. Hey, I don't know where this is coming from. I want the God of Peter that when the man was sick and he wanted money, he said, silver and gold, I have not, but what I do have. I want the God of the apostle Paul. I want that benefit that you met me on my road of destruction. Y'all thought I was going to say Damascus. Where I was about to go and destroy, you met me. Where I was going to go and act a fool, you met me. Where I was going to go and kill, promise, you met me. Where I was going to destroy my own future, you met me. I want that God. God of covenant. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. I want the God of benefits. You didn't tell me how much time I have, so I'm going to keep talking. Woo! I didn't even got into the benefit part. Oh. Help us, it'd be all say. <laughs> if you think about it, most of us keep our jobs not just for the money alone, but for the benefits. Let me tell you something. Oh, okay. I used to be a manager at Amazon, and I wanted to quit several times. Yeah. Yeah. A day. And then, because of just how I work, they promoted us again. I said, I don't want, I, I like the money. I don't want the, the, the work part. We just need mics all around the room. I keep telling you, this is a circle type of church. We, we all preach. Round table talk, A-D-B-O-C. And so I worked at Amazon, and so the responsible, the responsible what? The responsibility that I had this section over here is acting up. <laughs> the responsibility that I had is to manage people and to make operations go, 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 go. And whenever there was a hiccup, I had to stand up and go and fix it. Now remember, all of y'all in order from Amazon, so all of y'all are the reason my job was what it was. Right, you got your packages on time. And so I remember wanting to quit one time yeah, I can remember this one. And at this time, I didn't have a car. Amen. And so I, just, I thought I needed the check. And so I go to go get in this car, and I wasn't even going for me. I was going to be a, a bodyguard for my sister because everybody just, for some reason, is intimidated when I go stand next to them. And I go there, and I'm out of my business. And the guy said, do you want a car as well? I said, no, I don't want that. Don't have money. <laughs> he said, what could you put down? I said, nothing. I just said I didn't. But OK, we can do this. And he says, where do you work? I said, I work at Amazon. What do you do? I'm a manager. He said, oh. He said, uh, have you ever looked into your benefit package? I said, uh -huh. I was just happy to have a job in COVID, uh, so I just signed the paper. Oh, okay. And he, he, he tells me to pull out my, uh, the, the little slip thing I had. And I, said, I gave it to him. He typed it in and what, he did all of that work. And he came back to the table. And I, I already know he said he's going to come here and be like, sir, we can't do nothing for you. Thank you. 
He said, you don't have to put anything down. He said, did you know that you have coverage over here and they're willing to pay X amount of money if you stay here for this amount of time? Read the package. But we get so excited about the money part. We did not realize in this season you're not even going to need it. It's going to be worthless. But for those of you, come on, who have served and labored in the kingdom. Yeah, Tinka Winka. That's you. That's you, girl. Tinka Winka. That's you. You have been serving on that organ for a very long periodical time. And it's now time to reap your harvest. I need the people of God to get more excited about that. I didn't say it's time to reap your money. I said your harvest. That means this is something that's been sitting in the ground for a real, real long time. Come on, come on, come on. Can I stir the saints real quick? This is something that you have been laboring for. And now it is time to take your package out, put it in their face, and say it's not by my might, but by the Lord. It's by the Lord's hand that this thing is going to work. All you need to do is walk up to the land and say, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. I dare y'all in the prophetic to just go ahead and find it. Put it at the top of your mind and say, it's mine, it's mine, it belongs to me. It's mine, it belongs to me. It, I've worked for this thing. You can't hold nothing back that I worked for. We put time and effort into this thing. Let me wrap this up. So there are a few benefits that the kingdom gives that can't nobody else give. Not a nobody. Not your mama. Ooh, I feel that heavy. You've been waiting for your family to do it. You've been waiting for your family to notice you. You want the, you want the family's notoriety. You, you want Instagram and Facebook's popularity. But this church is different. Can you stand to your feet? This church, we, we are a little different. And it's not just us. We're connected to so many different churches. This is a kingdom thing. It's not about a body, one body, but the body of Christ. Chosen. You were called for this. This is not just for the remnant. And we're not rebuking the remnant. But this is for the body of Christ. Lift your hands. I don't want to just preach prosperity. I think that's crazy. But prosperity with process, it'll last longer. Come on, lift your hands and close your eyes. On Wednesday, we'll get back into all the benefits of Christ. But I just want to read this and pray this over you. Psalms 103, David writes, Praise the Lord, my soul. All my inmost being praise his holy name. This is what I want to read. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. You've only been using the benefit of favor. <laughs> because that's all you know, but there's the benefit of healing. There's a benefit of forgiveness. There's a benefit of love. And this love is different from daddy's love and mama's love and boyfriend's love. It's everlasting. It doesn't change. As a matter of fact, there's another benefit that when you change, he doesn't. It's a part of the benefit package. How many of you want the full benefits of God? For 30 seconds, go ahead and play. 
I want you first to repent. Repent for ever doubting him. On Wednesday, we're going to talk about the first benefit, which is forgiveness. <laughs> and how he forgives even when we're still holding on to shame. Most of us can't get to the benefit package of forgiveness because we're still holding on to shame. And God wants to deliver us in this moment from shame. There's no condemnation. Yeah. The moment you've confessed with your mouth and you believed in your heart that he rose from the dead with all power. The Bible says that you were saved. And so you do not have to go back home with guilt and shame anymore. I ask God, why are we not asking? Why are we not asking? What is, what is it that is stopping us from asking you for the full package? He revealed to me because some people are ashamed of what they've done, who they were. They don't think I, God, can give to that person. And you're right. But God did something to Saul. He changed his name when he chose him, and he called him Paul. There's a name change in this room. Come on, I feel it. You're going to receive the first benefit package, the first part of it today, and it's forgiveness. And I said, God, that's, that's normally an Easter message, that when he died, thank you, Bishop, but because it's in the package, it's whenever you need it. Yeah, come on, I feel it rising in the room. Thank you, Jesus. God is about to wash your slate clean. Come on, come on, come on. Don't hold back in this moment. Whatever it is you need to be forgiven for. Can I tell you a secret? That's why he was born. He had to fulfill a promise, but if he hadn't come, there would be no forgiveness of sin. And in this moment, you've been carrying sin and shame for a very long time. And I feel God saying that this is your come home moment. I heard somebody make the decision, God, I want the full benefits, but I've got to be in the kingdom first. Last time, all eyes closed. Come on, pastors. So, come on, ministers. You heard the call. Why don't you come now to the altar? There are ministers that are here ready to pray with you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say. Do use me, Lord. Right now, those of you that you heard the call and you want the full benefits package, come now. Come, quick. So, my storage is empty and I am available. Come on, we're here to pray with you. My storage is empty. Come here. Um. And I am to you. Come on, Sheleba. My storage is empty, and I am available to you. Sheba na lebo seta. Now I'm gonna give another altar call in a second, but these are for those that are, need to come back home. You need to reestablish yourself right here and right now. 
because you know you want to come into this place into the new year with your benefits package on lock my storage is empty and i am available to you you ready to work in the kingdom are y'all ready to work this year shadala masataya or my storage is empty yeah come on come on come on travis come on it's time for you to come on back home y'all know pastor gonna come out of me in a second i need y'all to pray for him. my storage is empty There are angels that are restoring. One of the benefits is restoration. Restoration in the body so that we can work again. You've been stagnant. It's time to move your muscle and work again. We're praying on this altar. My storage is empty and I am available to you. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Right here. This is a place of repenting. This is a place of washing. This is a place of restoring. This is a place of redemption. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for those of you you've been living off of your gift oh you've been living just off your gift I can prophesy I can preach I can sing I can serve and you have not yet tapped into the benefits of who you are because you belong to God and you're not sure what the benefits are because you've been operating so long on just your gifts and you got tired of church and you act like you are over churched out churched don't want to do church no more because you were in a church or with a church and I don't care what body it was but you never understood the benefits package so you prophesied and you were never healed you preached and you were never fulfilled you served on us on saying you you ushered you did whatever it was but you never reaped the benefits of God okay I'm talking to you I'm going to pray for the revelation of his promise so that you don't operate this year out of your gift, but you learn this time how to use the benefits. I'm just going to count to three. There are some people that are free to pray and activate you. Come now. One, two, three. Come on. Benefits. This year we're going to activate our benefits. I'm not going to 
prophesy out of my flesh or out of my gift and be done with church. I'm going to operate in the benefits because I'm a son and I'm a daughter. Come on. This one. That I know y'all not married yet, but you're going to get married. And I've been praying for y'all that you operate out of your, uh, stay here because I don't want you to move, that you operate out of your benefits. Because see, I already know there's a pimp spirit already been trying to pimp you, pimp your gifts and who you are, Shataya. And you were never able to tap into the benefit of the promise of God that was here over both of y'all's life. And then they didn't even see you as a benefit. They just saw you as a holder. But God says, I'm going to rip open the veil and show go hey, who you really are. And what you really have to offer. This time, you won't feel the weight after you preach, after you pray, after you prophesy, after you intercede anymore. Because you're going to be so attached to the benefits of God. And you're going to be so sure and so secure in the benefits of God. It doesn't matter if they don't acknowledge you after you wipe the floor. Oh! Because you won't even look for it anymore. Because you're going to be so attached to the benefits that you know that God is going to take care of you. And everything that belongs to you belongs to you. Lift your hands. God in heaven, reveal the benefits. Reveal the benefits. All of the hard work, all of the press. Everything that she's put in the vineyard, every labor that he's labored through. I decree and declare that the benefits are open to you. What you've been paying for in your fasting and what you thought you were paying for, oh, by your gift. God says, by my promise. My yeas are yea and my nays are nay. You shall receive all that I have. You are a son and a daughter. You are a son and a daughter. The benefits. Glory be to your name, God. My storage is empty. Anybody felt that before? My storage is empty. I believe that the Lord emptied out your storage so you can use your benefits. Some of y'all need to use the coupon that's been in that drawer for the longest. Take it out. You're paying for stuff you ain't got to pay for. you suffer for stuff you don't have to suffer for. Forget not his benefits. Don't forget in that coupon drawer, you got all the benefits. Don't forget. My storage is empty. This one last thing I'm led to pray for. Those of you this year, Money could not do what you thought it was going to do. And you kept wanting more money. And it wasn't fixing the problem. You thought you needed money. 
If this not you, I ain't talking to you. But you thought you needed money. When actually you needed the right connections, you've been working with the wrong people. And they've been leeches to your business, to your process, to your mindset. You're with the wrong teams, using the wrong systems. Because see, when you understand the full benefits package of God and you've worked in the kingdom, it's because he's worked out of you old habits. That time management, I knew I got saved when I started operating proper time management. I knew I was really, really saved and sanctified when I was operating out of love, a love that I did, I, it, I did not make but it came because as a son and a daughter of Christ you become more and more and more and more and more like him you're not going to be able to throw money at your problems and issues next year you're going to need to be in the right connection with the right kind, the right kind, the right type, the right circumstance, the right atmosphere, the, the right people, the right projects. I'm going to say this and this is all I'm going to say about this catastrophe that's happening in the world, in the church world. On January 1st, because of Epstein's case, there's going to be 150 names that are going to be released. Some of these names you're going to love and you're going to know. And what's going to happen is you're going to lose all respect for these names because of the things that you're going to find out that they are they have done or been associated with when it comes to ch uh, child uh, sex trafficking and such. Now, I believe that this is also an opportunity for the enemy to cause you to be defeated and not trust in the voices. Now, listen, there is a sin nature. There is a humanity to people and there is a sin nature. Some of the people, we're going to stop following them because of their sin nature. And I understand that we have a problem with their sin nature. But that sin nature is between them and God. That does, that does not denote or destroy the information that they have. Now, here is why and where you're going to need discernment. Somebody say discernment. You're going to have to understand and have discernment. I'm not saying sit under anybody or anything that is, that is demented or tormented or, or dilapidated in its structure. But I'm, I, need to, I need you to understand that when you discern a thing, you're able to legally, I'm talking about heaven's legal authority, legal authority put it back into the place called redemption, because that's what he did for me. So there has to be a redemption plan for man. Okay? Now, don't put no words in my mouth, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm saying. Be careful, because this ploy is going to be used by whomever else wants to now take your 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 uh what is it called your pool and they want to they want to take who you are and what you believe and they want to take you from where you were to where they are so they're going to cancel culture they're going to try to cancel all of those names you're going to need God's discernment because some of our judgment, all of our judgment, needs to come with discernment. Because see, sometimes they'll throw one name under the bus and then all 50 names under the bus and you just lop them all together and that is not the will of God. 
so the discernment that we need in this moment has got to be that we trust God and trust God's benefit don't get rid of the principles that God has given even through whomever he's given man or woman boy or child don't get rid of the discipline don't get rid of the principles because somebody has an issue with their sin nature give that over to God I'm not saying stand behind them and promote them I think that's stupid too I think that's retarded who do we have to do that for why do we have to do that for anybody nobody is God and if somebody needs to know that I have their support it's because I'm going to preach the word of God and because the word is going to do the work I can't do it no way and my endorsement of anything or anybody means nothing when it's your soul and your God. My endorsement is not going to stand with you and Peter at the gate. You going to be judged for you like I'm going to be judged for me. But we ought to have and use discernment. Now, what I know is it is a part of the benefit package and it is a part of the honor code so if you have not been able to discern because you've been paying for what you thought you had instead of having the relationship the benefit of the relationship the benefit of the covenant with God and you need that to be activated I says Bishop has something to say, but I need you to prepare because I want to pray for you because if we don't cover your businesses, if we don't cover your families, I, I would hate to see you jump on the bandwagon of anything and destroy or uphold anything or anybody. That is not our job. And so I will not, it's not my job but it is my job to stay and hold on to the benefits package of the Father. That's where we need to be. So don't get confused in this season. If you know that you, lift your hands right where you are. Father, I pray the spirit of revelation and the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of counsel. You said that you would establish every purpose under counsel. And God, I pray that we would understand the benefit of being established by good counsel. That we would not go with what's popular or what is or what is impotent or what is or what is being overwhelmed. But God, we would understand that your discernment, we are to be led by the spirit of God. You said, eyes have not seen seen nor ears heard neither has it entered into the heart of man what I have in store but you said by my spirit I reveal all things I pray in the name of Jesus that because we are connected to the spirit of God that the benefits of God is that we will not fall but we will stand tall in this hour and we will be the difference we will be a royal a peculiar people a holy nation set aside for God to use in the body of Christ and every spirit in hell that is trying to come up against and stir an agenda against the body of Christ I activate right now all of us that are equipped in the kingdom to work a work and do what God told us to do so we can build up the body of Christ. But this is the benefit of my salvation. And I will not deny it. And we will not destroy it. And we will not throw it away to help somebody's reputation. Because we need the all need the plan of God's redemption. In Jesus' name, somebody give God praise. On our way here to church this morning, you kept saying build the church. And you kept saying it. And when you were speaking about cancel culture, I heard the Holy Spirit says, we, the enemy has been jealous of the church for centuries. And that's his job is to destroy the church. And he's going to destroy the church 
through the mouthpieces that we have believed in, the icons that we've looked up to. And, and little by little, even in my day, when we had the various different evangelists, we looked up to them and they crashed and we're gonna see a wave of that again. And now with TikTok and, and uh, IG and, and Facebook, all of those things are, are gonna move um, quicker than it did in my day. And so we're, we're coming into a time where we're destroying the church and we are destroying it from the inside out. The enemy is allowing us to put our mouth on a thing. And it, it reminds me of, Moses, of uh, uh, Noah. When Noah was in the ark and he committed a sin of, of, uh, of gluttony and, 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 and uh, drinking, excess drinking, and he was drunk. And his sons came in and his sons covered him. His sons had the common sense to cover whatever it is. They didn't even ask questions but they covered him. In this hour, I'm going to ask the church, cover your brothers and your sisters. Don't destroy the church because of their failure, because of their flesh, because we're going to fall. Cast the first stone. Who you? So in, in this hour, we've got to build the foundation again because the enemy is out there to destroy the church. And we're already saying, I'm not going to church because a bunch of phonies in there. There's a lot of sick people that need God, that's all. And I wanted to do one more thing. I wanted to pray for Jonathan. Jonathan, I know that he's got a heart of God. He's got a heart of love. And I'm not putting anything on you, Jonathan, but I so admire you. I'm, I, I admire you because of his stability. And you've gone through a whole lot. And you should be crazy. <laughs> All of us go through a lot. But can we just lay quickly? And I don't want to scare you. He, his daddy is a pastor, so he ain't scared of the church. But I don't want to, I don't want to, don't get crazy with him. Because he's a man of integrity. Just pray for him. He understands it. Because he's in a place, and he's got to stay where he's at because he's going to call more people than we will in the church. So we're going to pray for you, Jonathan the anointing of God on your life, the attraction that make church, see, we don't make church look good. We make church look scary. Stop making church look scary, people. Because the people that I talk to in the world will not come into a church because y'all making it look scary. Stop it. Stop being spooky when you go to work. So we, we need him in the world so he can draw those good looking men in the church because y'all complain because there ain't no men coming. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm passing the mic. For the gifting and the anointing that's on him, he has a podcast. And God, this is this is the way, this is his platform. And you told me that I was a pastor that would pastor platforms and not people. And God, there is a platform in him to reach people. To help them to form an, an understanding. To lay out information so that they can have a discernment and they can make a choice. And so God, the gift that he has, to help men and women make a choice. To understand the plays. To see the value. To recognize the, the struggle. And to recognize, oh God, the strength of the players. To recognize the strength of the coaches to recognize obedience to recognize the strategy to recognize the call to recognize what is referee to recognize and to reference God what comes from the past what came to the future to help the next play and the level sire father I ask now that you will promote his voice promote his mission oh God to help men and women have discernment so that they can make a choice in the name of Jesus that they won't just look at a picture but God that they will look at it from every angle and even as he has the anointing the mantle I pray in the name of Jesus that this platform will build a revelation of information called wisdom and counsel to establish your kingdom in the earth establish here Here. 
Satire, and I see, I see, I see, I see, I see Hall of Famers coming to you, sponsoring you, building you, promoting you for the discernment that you will give. You didn't know it was a ministry. You didn't know you were pastoring, but this is the platform. This is the pulpit. And God says, I gave it to you. And now you're going to send the benefit of me as I'm going to grow you in it. Build your church. Build it from the ground up. Build it from the ground up. Know that it supports you. Your family that supports you. Your brothers that support you. But there's a new brotherhood. Come on, brothers. Touch his back. Let him know you're here. You got a new brotherhood. You have 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 a new brotherhood. Support. That's all you wanted. You didn't want money, but you wanted the benefit of a relationship. You didn't want money. You wanted the benefit of true relationship. That's the benefits package. And God, we thank you for what you're going to do. In this season and in the next. Hey, Shalea, y'all don't know. Y'all looking at a Hall of Famer. Hey! I went to school for media and broadcasting. You're the next. Somebody scream, you're the next. God is doing this. If you know in this house, you need to be a member of this church, this house, right where you are, just raise your hand. I know we've been waiting. And I normally do this. Those of you that are members of this church, I need you to stand up on your feet. Now, friend, I'm not going to mess with your son today. I'm going to get him after church. <laughs> but those of you that are members of this church and you're ready to work seamlessly with the next person next to you we got one more Sunday in the year but this is going to be the last one where we're going to have this kind of encounter find somebody that's already standing up and I just want you to just for 30 seconds pray their strength and in that prayer for 30 seconds equip them with whatever they need to build the body of Christ y'all find them go 30 seconds one two 